Okay, so I'm going to show you today how to use um, colored pencils um, using just black and white. What you will need is you will need a black and white colored pencil, which I will have readily available for you. Um, like I've said in the past, um, in class and stuff, with um, your colored pencil, you do not want to see the paper. Um, you're going to use your white more as a blending tool than you will as anything else. The key with colored pencils is getting a smooth, smooth application. Um, that's very similar to pencil, a nice smooth application. Um, your blending tools will not work on this. They're not that soft. They don't work quite like that. Um, and again, you start with um, a value scale. Um, if this is my colored pencil value scale, again, going dark. And then lighting it up. Um, it's super important to just go over your uh, colored pencil multiple times, applying the same amount of pressure the entire way. And then I'll use my white, which actually won't even really appear as anything, to blend my color together. Notice it does lighten it up just a little bit, but not too much. So we have a nice step right there that's very smooth. You don't see the paper through it. Uh, it's, it's a nice, smooth color. So we're going to start, <clears throat> excuse me, by looking at this um, eye right in here. So I kind of I drew it up just a little bit too high. Uh, this part comes like right here. And then, the, um, because we are like skinnier, go like this. I drew it a little wide. We have the eye part right here. The eye part right here. And then the eyebrow here. Eyebrow here. Okay. So now we're going to go in and we're going to find our darkest areas, which are just the eyebrows. Go in here. Let's do that dark. Um, kind of the outline in here of the eye itself is a little dark. And then we have kind of a, a darker value right here, which is right here. It's very thin along the side of this nose. I'm going to come in here and add that value in. In here. Very dark. This is black. I'm going to really get in there and go dark. I'm going to come down with my next darker tone. Remember, I've talked a lot about your tones and how um, it's always easy to go darker. It's very hard to go lighter with your colored pencils, so you really have to think about that. Notice I'm following the contour of my shape. in here and just smooth it out a little bit. Now I personally feel that colored pencil is actually the easiest to do um, with the posterized version. You may find that a little different. Um, that's completely up to you. Now I'm going to come in here. Following the contour of my nose aka the shape of my nose. It's a little darker right in here. Okay. 
notice as I fill in my um, lighter values that sometimes they get dark and then my darkest values don't get dark enough so then I go back in and I hit those with a darker tone. Um, as you develop your things, you may have to go back in and hit things to make them darker. Like I said, you can always darken things up. It's a lot harder to lighten things up. And these don't erase. So once you kind of lay that value down, you have to keep that value. Now this value and this value are the same, so I need to come back in here and match those, these two values. This is a little darker in here. I gotta darken these up. Try not to get too lost in what you're doing because sometimes we go overboard and then we don't realize that we're actually not coloring what we need to be coloring or the same or the right shade or the right tone. Notice I'm coming in and reworking some areas. Now I'm going to take my white and I'm going to start blending my tones and then I can rework and make things darker if I need to, which I already know I do. See how that blends it and it solidifies it and it makes it not look like it's transparent. It makes it look whole. It sets it apart from the pencil. I really hated using colored pencils to begin with. Um, I didn't really understand them when I was in high school. Um, I didn't really like them. I used them as a freshman. Didn't use them again until I was a senior and um, experimented with them and just really tried and worked with them a lot. Notice I just hit my white. I'm gonna hit my white right here. And then I started to like them once I understood how to really use colored pencils, that they weren't just like coloring book light um, shades, that you really came in and made things solid and made things really work. Like I said, noses are tricky. You don't want them to look like they're just straight lines coming out, that you want them to look like they're coming out of your face. So you really do that by following the contours of your nose. Um, now this isn't a realistic one, but it really turned out to be more realistic. That's what I was getting at by your posterized versions. They don't always start out looking real, very realistic, but they end up being very real. I mean, that looks, those two look Pretty real. Um, step back from your artwork, look at it. It'll really show you if, if things are developing. You get so caught up in your little areas that if you don't step back and look at things every once in a while, you're gonna lose a lot of your detail. You're gonna lose what you're doing. I'm really pressing hard on that white area. So I really want that to pop out. So looking at this, it looks pretty good. I think I'll call it smooth. Um, I will be coming around to check to make sure things are smoothed out and look solid and aren't, um, paper is not showing. If you choose to do this on your big one, it will take you a little bit longer. Colored pencil takes a little bit longer than um, most of the other materials because they're so small and it's very time consuming. But you'll be very happy with the product in the end.